the primary focus with this and how it differs from things that you have read about and researched <laughs> in the past, um, there is no programmatic or education uh, per se component to this. We don't work with youth. We don't work with students. Uh, we work primarily with two key sets of stakeholders, parents and law enforcement people. And included in law enforcement, obviously, is that whole continuum of law enforcement, prosecution, the judiciary. So uh, that's the primary thrust of this journey last year. Um, it was uh, an eye-opening experience for us. Uh, we did this uh, and are doing it with uh, very short funds. Um, the first phase, the implementation phase, which started October 2nd, will run through the end of September of this year. The primary thrust of that is City of Kenosha, or more specifically the Kenosha Unified School District geographic footprint. Um, so not schools per se, but the footprint that KUSD hits. As of October 1st of this year, assuming that we receive the next phase funding for this, which would be the same dollar amount, uh, we would take this initiative to the rest of Kenosha County. Um, as a part of what it is that we've been doing with this, we work very closely with the Sheriff's Department and with uh, uh, west of the interstate law enforcement. Even though the first phase was supposed to be KUSD footprint, part of those relationships that get built up, we're, we're not pulling the covers over our heads saying we're not going to, direct, to address this at this point. Um, and so we work very closely with uh, Twin Lakes, with uh, Paddock Lake, with Silver Lake, uh, with uh, the Wheatland Constable, with the Sheriff's Department. We, that's been a, a big part of what we've been doing.